What's up? You're listening to Trish Stratus, WWE Hall of Famer, and you're listening to Vibe 105. Keep listening because Stratisfaction is guaranteed. Vibe Talks. Vibe Talks. More than just music. Hey, everybody. This is Giancarlo Alino and Aaron Zaretsky reporting for Vibe 105 with a sports Vibe talk segment. And today we're honored to be joined by our guest. She's Toronto's own. She's a WWE Hall of Famer, and she'll be one of the judges on the upcoming season of Canada's Got Talent. She's Trish Stratus. Trish, how you doing? I'm great. Thank you. I like the ring of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trish, uh, like we mentioned here, like Canada's Got Talent, brand new season coming out, new show. You're the judge of that. So like, how did this all come about and what were your initial thoughts of the show? Um, well, it came about, my agent called me and told me that they were chatting with the Canada's Got Talent people. And I was like, what? Like, I honestly like was so excited. I'm a huge fan of the show. Um, my family, like, you know, my family watches it, right? We, we watch it because it's, it's such a great family show. Like I have a eight year old and a four year old. So we all watch it together. And honestly, it's funny because it's one of those shows that when the kids can't decide on something or it's like, we have a quick show, but like with lunch or before bed or something, we'll just say, okay, let's put on Got Talent. And we literally watch those Got Talent co compilations on YouTube and the kids love it. Right. So when I, like when I had to tell my, my eight year old, I didn't tell the four year old yet because it's sort of a weird she she doesn't understand really you know the whole i'm a celebrity personality person um but when i told max my eight-year-old he was like what can i tell my friends i was like um hold off on that for now and then we'll get back to that <laughs> but yeah we're super excited uh trish what are your thoughts just about working with fellow canadian judges howie mandel lily singh cardinal official and fellow Canadian host, uh, Lindsay Alpha. Very excited. I, I, you know, obviously when I heard how he was part of our, of our judging panel, like that's just like, that like just takes it up a few notches. You know, we got like the veteran on our, on our panel. So that was like, just so exciting to hear. Cause there was a big, you know, it was a big hush hush. No one, we weren't, we didn't know for a little while. Right. So when I heard that, I was super excited. Um, Lily and I actually, she's a huge wrestling fan. I don't know if I think, I think it's out there, but Lily loves wrestling. And we actually, she contacted me. Like it was like years ago on Twitter. Like I had said something, I was thinking when the Raptors were doing their thing. And I had like said something like, she's like, yeah, what Toronto zone loves the Raptors and wrestling. Like we were both like, okay, two loves. We we're connected by two loves plus the, you know, the, the Toronto love from the six or whatever. Right. Um, and then, yeah, she's come to like a lot of WWE events. And then when I did my final match in Toronto, my farewell match, which was in 2019, um, she was backstage. She was at the show. So we, we hung out and got to chat there and that was really cool. So yeah. So, so to be able to sit on the panel with her is exciting because she's my friend and, but she's just, I mean, she's absolutely a perfect choice. Like, and actually, if I had closed my eyes and thought, I will put together the perfect judging uh, panel, I mean, she would be it. She's just, she's so funny. She's so witty. She's fantastic. And she's a huge audience. So I'm super excited about that. And then Cardinal Fischel, I mean, a Canadian icon, a music icon. Um, I, I met him years ago. Actually, my stylist uh, was her, his stylist back in like ugh, 2000, whenever I started in wrestling, like 2001. So uh, and I met him back then, so I'm excited to reconnect with him. And uh, we've connected on, on social media and chatted about how excited we are. We're both kind of like blown away that we're doing this show. And we, yeah, I'm excited to see the camaraderie that will happen between us. And, uh, you know, hopefully I, I like to, I know hopefully they like my bad puns. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it should be exciting to see uh, the chemistry between all of you. And uh, just like when, when you're judging the talent, well, one of the criteria be, did it bring the satisfaction? Huh? <laughs> You're so, you know, how many people, like all my wrestling fans, that's like what they say. Like, are you going to be stratified? That might become a thing that like, I might only, it's like, that'll be like the Trish Stratus golden buzzer. Like I'm not satisfied with that performance, but if they hear like satisfaction has been provided, that could be like whole next level for me. Right. Like that could be a, a preamble to my, to my, to my yes. So I like that. I think uh, since it seems like everyone in wrestling really wants to hear about the satisfaction out there, I'm going to do it as a little shout out to my wrestling peeps. <laughs> oh, nice. Fantastic. <laughs> I won't deliver satisfaction because that would mean it was a bad performance. And I would like leave them laying for the three count. I think that they production might not enjoy that. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'd be okay with that. You know, just uh, lead by example, right? You never know, right? You never know. <laughs> <laughs> With Trish Stratus here on Vibe 105, uh, Sports Vibe Talk segment. I'm Giancarlo Lino with Aaron Zaretsky. And Trish, like you mentioned there, this is uh, like a new show there. You're going to be judging with all these Canadian greats. So uh, 
just watching Canada's Got Talent or America's Got Talent and seeing like how they do things, uh, what's one of the aspects of it that really impresses you? Are you more into the singing aspect? Like, do you want to see performances? Uh, what are you mostly looking forward to? Well, I'm definitely always moved by the music performances, of course. I mean, you can't, you can't not be. Some of them are just so, I mean, you, uh, goosebumps and tears automatically. And I'm like, oh, my, my husband, we were watching and my husband looks at me and he's like, you're going to totally cry on TV. I was like, no, I'm not, okay? <laughs> I'm going to be professional. <laughs> but um, I love, what I love is the group, the group ensemble performances. And I don't know if it's because I know like as a wrestler, what I do is definitely uh, a, a team effort. And I know it's a collaborative effort, like from one performer to the other performer. And, you know, from the, even the referees role in, in the, in their match. So I'm used to seeing a collaborative thing come together, which I think is like a beautiful dance that comes together. So I am always impressed with those because I just love to see like, you know, a bunch of people moving in, in sync and just seeing this, like the dynamic of, of, of different bodies moving to the same energy, I guess you can say. So that d definitely, that's what I'm most excited for. But all of them, I mean, I, I love ventriloquists. I love, the only thing I'm a little weird out on is like when I see little toddlers doing like the, when they have makeup and the, they, they, the samba, when they do that, like that ballroom dancing thing and their bodies move like that. And oh, no, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy about that stuff. <laughs> I think of my kid, I'm like, I don't want you twerking or maybe I don't want your hips moving like that yet. Okay. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just onto that, like, uh, we're here on vibe one Oh five on the York university campus. Uh, both Aaron and I graduates of York university, like yourself. Uh, what yeah. was your favorite, uh, moments there? Cause you were a student athlete. What was that like when you were at York? Oh my God. Life was crazy back. It's funny. Cause I have a crazy life now because I have two kids. I run a business. I, uh, da, da, da. there's stuff, right. But I'm not sure what was busier, man. I, back then, I was on the York University varsity team. I played for field hockey. Uh, I played rep level soccer for my town of Richmond Hill. I was studying to become a doctor to go into med school. So I was a, I was a biology kinesiology major. It, it was really crazy. Like I, I, I was, um, I didn't sleep much during those years. Um, but you know, it's funny. Like Ron, my husband, current husband, was my boyfriend at the time. So we were, we we laugh about how we we ran at this pace for so long. Like I don't know any other level. Like I, for school, I ran at that level. WWE I ran at 300 days a year of schedule. Now I'm running the schedule. So um, yeah, I just remember being really uh, crazy. I didn't have much of a social life because I was. I mean, I was pretty much nerdy. I was nerd. I was a jockey nerd girl. I don't know if that if that mesh mashup sounds attractive or not, but that's what I was guys. <laughs> but it seemed, to work, it seemed to work out for me, you know, the, uh, the athletic uh, athletics that I got there. I mean, I mean, the field hockey team there, like they had members of the team Canada playing on our team. So that was an honor and they were just amazing. So um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I love my time there. I had a lot of wonderful memories and great friends and just, uh, yeah, it was, it was good times. Definitely good times. Did you have to deal with a strike over there when you're at York? Because I know, like, for me and Chicago, like, we had to deal with a couple strikes. And so I was like, oh, man, it's, like, kind of like a current, like, a recurring thing at York University. Kind of their thing, isn't it? You know, the strikes. Um, actually, yeah, the big, the big strike, which is, like, we call it the strike of 97. I was um, I was there for the strike of 97. But, in fact, I'll tell you this. So, and, and, and you know, everything, I always say everything happens for a reason. The strike happened. Um, and if that strike hadn't happened, I when I say I was, like, nerd jock, I was, like, sports and studying. Sports and studying. That's all I did. During that time, the, the strike happened. I actually got a, jo a job at the gym. I thought, let me just, because I can train for free. Let me get, let me get, make some money and I'll train for free. Because we were like out of class, right? Um, during that time, I got discovered to be a fitness model. And honestly, like this guy, like, I mean, I want to like talk about the funniest story. Like some creepy guy comes up to me and says, you'd be great for the magazine. I'm like, yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> Turned out he was legit. He was actually working for Robert Kennedy, which is publisher of all those fitness magazines, Muscle Mag, Oxygen Magazine, et cetera. And he was looking for, they were just making the brand new magazine, Oxygen Magazine, which is a fitness, women's fitness magazine. And he was literally looking for, like at the time, women were represented only, you know, they were enhanced women, I guess you could say. Um, and he wanted to just represent the fit women, right? So it was a, a new industry. It had been, there was no niche, niche created for it. So he thought he coined the term fitness model. And that's what I got scattered for. So he basically came in and I got discovered. So I got discovered there, became a fitness model, which led to WWE eventually. So in a way, I do say thank you. One time I met Mayor Lastman. He came to one of our press releases when, or press announcements when we were having an event in, in, uh, in Toronto. And he kind of took me aside. He goes, I guess you have me to thank for that strike, huh? Or else this would have never happened. I was like, mm, I don't know if I say that out loud, but I guess I inadvertently can thank you. So the strike did work out for me, not so much for others, so as I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> you were able to make the most out of it, right? Which, is, which was, fan you know, which is great because... 
Exactly. You know, you were able to take advantage of that, you know, all that downtime from the strike and all that. Yeah. I'm, I always believe in like maximizing opportunities. And a lot of the times we don't see opportunities. Um, and like, you know, that became like when I was able to study for my first photo shoot, for example, and, and nail it. And that became my first contract from that company, Robert Kennedy, he became my mentor. He said to me, preparedness meets opportunity. He says, that's why you got this contract. He says, you had an opportunity, you prepared for it, you fully maximized it. And I feel like my whole life, like, you know, I went to the WWE, I could have just been like Trish Stratus hot chick on the side. I was like, let me maximize the opportunity. I went and trained on my own. So when I went into the company, I had a foundation to wrestle already. So when they're like, oh, we need you to get physical. I'm like, yeah, don't worry. I'll pull off a match over here. Watch, right? So I do believe in that. Preparedness meets opportunity is my motto in life. And uh, it all started back then uh, with the strike in York University. So there we go. Come full circle. Just speaking <laughs> to you guys. Very cool. Wow. Um, this is Aaron Zareski, Wisha Carlino, along with Trish Stratus here, Dodie Hall of Famer. And York University alum here on Vibe 105. Uh, Trish, um, you mentioned earlier about like when you're wrestling, it's a collaborative effort and you need chemistry. Um, so when looking at the WWE roster currently, if the opportunity presented itself to work with someone you haven't worked with already, who would it be? Um, if you're talking about the dream match that everyone talks about with Sasha Banks... Maybe you might be referring to that much or you might not be. Maybe that's what I'm referring to. Um, she's uh, an amazing athlete. I, uh, there is a uh, people sort of fantasize about that match because we had a little, um, you know, face to face at the two, you know, the, the, when I went back for the, the, the women's Royal rumble. Um, and who knows? I mean, I, I, that is appealing to me. I, I think she's a fantastic athlete. She has brought so much to the company and elevated the women, uh, in the industry, uh, from what she's done. And, um, I think fans would love to see that. I would love to whoop her butt, uh, and prove how I'm the best and, you know, stuff like that. So yeah. So to close up our conversation, let's leave it with that little button and say, perhaps one day, if I decide to go back in the ring, I mean, I may, you know, might have to deliver a little satisfaction to the bank, to the boss. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone on the roster that like really kind of reminds you of you when you were younger in the business? A lot of the time I see, I see shades of me in a lot of them, to be honest. It's funny. And it's mostly, I'll see it when I'm like the timeline on Twitter during raw, people will be like, Oh, shades is for Stratus, shades of Trish Stratus. And there definitely is a few that I, I see bits and pieces. And then later on, I'll hear in an interview that I inspire them or they look to me when they were trying to get into the business. And so, it's kind of cool to see that, um, you know, definitely Alicia, um, um, what's her name? Alexa, Alexa Bliss in the beginning. She, she, I, I really saw shades of me in, in when she did her heel thing. And, you know, it, it's kind of cool to see that and definitely an honor. That's great. Uh, well, Trish, before we wrap up here, uh, how can we follow you on social media? Trish Stratus com on all of my social, um, networks and yeah, you could follow me and, uh, say hi, that would be cool to hear from you guys. All my, all my York alumni, come on, give me a shout out on, uh, on, on Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to hear from you guys. <laughs> That's great. Well, uh, Trish, uh, this was an honor speaking with you. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on Canada's Got Talent, and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, guys. And now back to your vibe, Vibe 105.